Hello, everybody, um, and welcome to the Moonstone uh, Matriarchy. Um, I am I Sneeze Stars. I go by Jessica on. I know it's the other way. I'm Jessica, and I go by I Sneeze Stars online or D in Denial. You can find me in places like TikTok and um, Instagram, all that stuff. And I will be your shenanigan sovereign this evening. Um, today we are, yeah. Moonstone Matriarchy. I'm fucking all over the place right now because we were talking. We giggled uh, it's fine. into the intros. It's, <laughs> it's it fine. It's fine. It's fine. Um, uh, Monday. Monday. Games. Mondays. We have the Iron <gasps> Adventures at 7.30 p.m. EST. Uh, DM'd by myself. Um, Tuesdays, we have State of the Union, a Shadowrun campaign. GM'd by Coddlesworth with Katie and currently uh, Scarlet and myself. Uh, yeah, Thursdays. We have the Lost Continent at 8 p.m. EST, a D&D campaign GM'd by uh, Mr. Markham. And uh, Fridays, we have the Legends of Kralis at 11 p.m. Uh, EST, a TTRPG uh, GM'd and created by um, Talarius Game Master. Uh, don't forget to follow us on our Discord and um, our YouTube and all that other shit. And... Um, <laughs> Somebody else talk now. Uh, <laughs> hi, June. <laughs> Me? Yeah, oh. yeah you. you, you oh, oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hello, I'm Juniper, also known as Linen and Spice, places like TikTok and Blue Sky mostly. Um, I am playing a cleric tonight. I'm playing Clover. She's a little tabaxi. Um, she's a little tortoise shell house cat. Um, and... Aside from being here on the Moonstone Matriarchy on Saturdays, you can also find me on uh, Shattered Tabletop Games on the first and third Sundays of the month, playing Alien and Naturally Shattered, respectively. I will pass to Katie. Hi, I'm Katie. Um, I am Dungeon Mistress Katie on all of the internet spaces and places and whatnot. Um, and as just said, you can find me on Tuesdays on the same channel on State of the Union Shadowrun campaign. Um, and you can find me on Wednesdays as a Yellow Power Ranger. And you can find me here again Saturdays. And then soon to be on Sundays on Shadows of Nox, um, which is also where my Power Rangers game is. We're going to be starting Call of Cthulhu. Also, very exciting. Uh, on the 13th of February, we're going to be dropping the Buffy the Vampire Slayer RPG. It's going to be like a four or five page. Yeah, it's really exciting. Like four or five episode um little mini campaign that we're currently getting uh finishing up we finish up i think next friday we're gonna finish our thing and play this layer it's amazing i'm super excited um and yeah that's me on the internet uh usually singing if i'm not here but today i play rosalind alara she is a uh a light she's an eladrin and she got railed last week she did yeah yes. she did <laughs> um <laughs> <laughs> unclear whether she did some railing herself i feel like the prince might be into that 
I mean, roll, roll for railing. Um, <laughs> <laughs> roll for that a, an opposed opposed skill check there to see who uh, rails. Oh. Yeah, I mean, I. I mean, who gets? We can uh, work this out if we really want to. <laughs> no, we're not gonna be doing that. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so that's what I'm doing tonight, and I'll pass it on over to Scarlet. <clears throat> Hello, I'm Scarlet sixty four, and I am playing Sin. A little emo elfy warlock girl uh, who I like to draw a lot. Um, you could also find me uh, all over Twitch. I'm in quite a few games now. I play State of the Union on Tuesday with Jess and Katie and Danny and their S and Danny and Daniel, which is super confusing. Um, and I also have my Out of the Abyss campaign on Sundays. And I have some other campaigns in the works right now that will be uh, hosted on my channel. So keep an eye out for that. I also am the mother of dessert dragons. So if you would like to adopt some baby dessert dragons, uh, you can find them on my Etsy shop or my uh, scarlet.com. Uh, take it away, Revan. Hello, everybody. I'm Nadine. You can call me GM of Revan. You can find me everywhere on the internet as GM of Revan. Um, you can check out my website, www.artelia.com, for more details, not only on the world, but also about things that I'm up to. I run games. I do. I run games Tuesdays and Fridays. I'm playing, I'm running a Dungeons and Dragons game on Tuesdays called Strands of Fate. They're currently in a really dark, deep place that I can't talk about because spoilers. And yes, there will be monsters, uh, as well as God Wars, where I run a whole bunch of men as gods. That's what we need. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, they, they are literal gods in my <laughs> world. I'm still kind of concerned about this decision, but I'm going to pass it on to Delphra or Mama C. Hi, um, I'm Mommy Kalik. I play Delphra, a winter Eladrin druid um, that likes to lead Roy Jenkins, basically everything and needs to be put on a leash, possibly a muzzle. We're not sure yet. Um, depends on the day. Yeah, it depends on how I'm feeling, how much wine there is. Anyways, uh, other than that, I have slowly crawled out of my rock and uh, my business has started opening up at Goddess Teacup. Um, even got a link tree, which is very impressive to me because I had no clue how that thing worked. Um, I run a spiritual apothecary and I make herbal remedies. Uh, so check us out. And, and I think Star, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I'll go. Um, hi, I'm Star. I go by Star Mama C on TikTok, everywhere else. I'm Characters Without Stories because that's the name of my podcast where I interview people about characters they haven't had a chance to play yet. Um, and uh, yeah, you can mostly find me here and you can mostly find me on podcast. And I published a new episode today uh, set in a game called Quest, which is really fun. Uh, uh, tonight I'll be playing Cappy, everyone's favorite elf turned bunny with a terrible mother. Um, and she is a Herringon wild magic sorcerer. Well, really a, an elf transformed to a bunny. So, you know. Uh, can you lead that into our charity for, for Absolutely. So uh, me and Dean Denial and I Sneeze Stars are uh, banding together with, uh, God, I think we're almost at 100 other TTRPG TikTokers and creators mm -hmm. now uh, to raise money to help people in Gaza. We're, our, we are supporting Doctors Without Borders um, to provide medical aid, and we have been raising money since January 1st. We are very close to the end of the fundraiser. It ends January 31st, so we only have a couple, few days left, three days? Four days? Uh, yeah. Four. What, what day is it today? 27th. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, four days. So uh, our goal started at 1500 We are now getting very close to our $20,000 goal, which is amazing. And I challenge everyone who is watching to get us to $25,000 so that we can do just as good as Critical Role. Um, right. Because that would be amazing. Embarrassing. You know? Critical Role, yeah, how embarrassing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just saying. For you. It'd be terrible. It's embarrassing if embarrassed. a bunch of nobodies. I'm just. I'm so sorry. I said that. 
<laughs> so you can you can donate. I'm sure Daniel will be dropping the link, but um, you can donate. Um, I'm on the red team, and Ice New Stars is on the green team. So support who you. Um, want to support but either way support the cause it's fantastic and I'm so proud of the TTRPG community for coming together on this and I think I I think I got it yeah I think that's that's good we've done so well and I'm really proud of us and every, it's been fantastic um the link is in the chat if you want to check that out we will be talking about it again and we will also be posting the link throughout the game um I think it's GM of Revan tonight right Yes. Mm -hmm. Do you want to lead us into our uh, recap? I keep punching myself with my new ring. Please and that's don't not do great that. It's sharp. That, that that looks like it hurts. Yeah, we've already we've already injured myself. Do you see that? <laughs> oh no. Okay. Well, hopefully, I can cheer you up with the. I mean, it's not going to help with the punching of the rings, but hopefully, this 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 will. I had to revise it at some point, Ooh. so there was a lot more I had to say. So we'll we'll just go with the short version. <clears throat> okay, here we go. <clears throat> okay. Mm -hmm. Last time on the Moonstone Matriarchy, the night brings with it many revelations for us moonlings. Rosalind had a very passionate evening of lovemaking with Prince Aldreon and a nightcap with Nixaria. Sin gets nerdy with it with Galen, a hot redhead chick who is apparently the prince's cousin. Having said that, she also got a visit from her favorite goddess and uh, had a theological montage discussion with Lady Orion. We'll bypass the discussion with the goddess. It probably went about as well as you can imagine. We had an amazing dosage of familial love and affection between Cappy and her brothers before the emotional damage happened. Yeah, that's going to take some time to unpack. Lastly, but definitely not the least. In fact, it was probably a highlight um, for some of us out here <laughs> in the webs who are who are clinging for 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 carbs. At the dining hall, Delphra, Clover, and Anemone saw Orc Mommy Diana get super into Orc Mommy Two, Lady Marigold. <laughs> We did, yeah, we did end up with a new campaign slogan, which we believe should go on many a T-shirt: uh, potatoes virgins <laughs> and vaginas we close with a very eventful breakfast coming on route back to you i sneeze stars ah thank you um so you guys ended up in the breakfast hall um where i did i just delete no i did not <laughs> okay i'm in the wrong i was in the wrong document Oh, I thought I just lost our whole game. <laughs> wow. Oh, okay. So <laughs> you guys are, uh, you guys hear potatoes, virgins, um, vaginas, and you're all at breakfast. Um, the prince has slumped in his seat as uh, Cappy's mother is attempting to talk to him once more. Um, not having any of this. Your brothers, Cappy, are at the very far end of the table, not wanting to um, sit very close to you right now um, and avoiding all eye contact. Um, Diana is a color of red that you have never seen before, as well as unable to keep anything down properly right now she just keeps she just keeps coughing it up it's not going down the right hole that's what she said um and <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> i will never grow out of that i refuse no. um With the same and place. at the end of the table as well are lord bon and lady orion um lady orion is eating and lord bon is drinking a glass of what looks to be red wine while just staring at her like, she's the best thing he's ever seen in his entire life. Um, is there anything that you want to do today, this morning, before you, uh, I assume, head down to get the information that you need from Anemone, the catacombs? Anemone will finally settle down, looking at Clover, um, and then uh, Delphra taking a deep breath. I'm sorry, it was very unexpected. Not, not something I wanted to do but there's a lot of romance here in this place is it just me or is like everybody getting like all feisty since we left the the, yeah. the you know 
it's just me. Well, there doesn't seem to be I a lot know. of love in the air at the moment. What? You can see like the red hearts. Is there like a special event or something? <laughs> I don't think that's for a couple weeks. Oh. <laughs> it's it's still useless time. Is <laughs> it? <clears throat> hmm. uh, from beside you, you hear a laugh, Anemone. Um, oh, no. There is a blonde that that uh, very gorgeous looking blonde dwarf sitting beside you with that with that killer mechanical arm that he has on <laughs> he goes oh, we've not had some new people here for a while excuse us well aren't you a tall drink of water what's your name Yes! You see him. You see him blush. <laughs> uh, well done. And well done. <laughs> immediately blush. Um, let me get his name. I definitely have it here. Um, Sorry, was that too enthusiastic? <laughs> no, I just have to switch back and forth. I did not have the tab open. I'm the worst DM today. Um, where is our we love artificer? You. His name is just, Baldrick. So he looks at you and he goes, like how my orc flirts. Because uh, <laughs> uh, it's it's Bald Baldrick. Uh, yours. Ah, uh, Annie. Just call me Annie. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, you, you seem rather tall for a dwarves. I, I mean, I've I've dated a couple of dwarves in my time. Nothing came out of it, but he seemed rather dashing. Um, nice arm. Thank, thank you. You see him for a second. He's like, mm. wait. Does tall equal dashing for a second there? Um, yes, of course. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, at least oh, in my okay. world, so it does. So if I was short, I wouldn't be dashing. No, oh. you're both uh, amazing oh, okay. and wonderful. I'm I'm playing. No. <laughs> I'm, I am. No. You work out, don't you? Of course I do. We don't have much to do other than tinker and work out here. And he uh, just same, there's like same. he is very well built actually. I, I usually I usually am in charge of making sure my sisters are brought around. Sometimes I have to carry a couple of them once in a while. Sometimes, I, obviously with consent. Hey, uh, obviously with consent. Not consent is key, of course. Mm. Once yeah, in she a just while, carry me around a lot. It's fun. Like he's he's getting a little <laughs> bit more red and like you see him kind of um he's he's laughing into his drink like he's talking to you but he's very shy about it almost oh he's cute um <laughs> actually you know what anemone would have no filter even though she's rather smart but and she would actually say oh you're cute <laughs> uh, say uh <laughs> thank you you're very attractive as well <laughs> Um. Oh. oh, oh, and then there's a moment <laughs> where she's like, hold on, I gotta think about this, looks over to Diana and Marigold, then looks at the dwarf, and she goes, what am I? <laughs> there's like a moment of like, what am I here? There's there's a second where he, <laughs> he looks at you and he winks, and then, uh, and then goes back to eating his <laughs> You're like, I wasn't expecting <sighs> it to be that easy. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> You should um you should come around my my shop sometime. Oh yeah, definitely. Where is your shop? Me being the most unprepared DM in the world. <laughs> you just didn't expect like... us to ask the questions. I know, right? I just like uh one sec. It is so uh it's twelfth floor, right um below the observatory. Twelfth floor, right below the observatory. She's going to go look over towards Sulfra and Clover and then looking over to where um, Sin and Cappy and um, our lovely Rosalind are. She's going to pick out and choose which ones. I'm like, well, does anyone want to observe anything in particular? Sulfra's just like <laughs> nodding her head like, let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah, let's absolutely. Go. You want absolutely. us to observe? Yeah, it's a, there's an observatory, isn't it? Like, isn't that a, a that's that's where you observe things? Oh, wait, Delphus that's not what you meant. That's not what I thought you that's meant. Not yeah, Delphus like a chaperone. Um, I really thought you were looking for like an pointers. audience. He's he's <laughs> smiling and he's got dimples. 
when he smiles <laughs> that he's just like this is like the funniest thing that's been happening <laughs> today <laughs> annie annie is like a mess because she likes cute people and things um <laughs> Which is very surprising for just how how beefy and gorgeous and just Amazonian and just athletically handsome she is. But at the same time, she really likes adorable, cute things. <clears throat> cute in when when she didn't realize Cappy's boyfriend was not a dragon. Um, oh, Weedy is the cutest. Okay, they're all the same. He is, is that here? for when he is. No, he's not. You told okay. Him to <laughs> yeah. You told him to leave and he was like, okay. I don't know I what to he's back. No, I no, no he, he left. I had <laughs> yeah. a question about yes. a thought I had earlier today. Mm. Um, is my little Will of the West friend still in my hair? Uh huh. Was she there all night? No. Um, <laughs> she did disappear for a while. Um, Ooh, but she, she seems to like, float in and out okay. every now and then she can she just disappears like and is gone she's in front of your face and just disappears and you, you get the kind of um you get the feeling that she's she goes to a different realm almost okay i was just saying that would be time. awkward um you have seen her uh just in the last night yeah. spend some time with lady seraph okay I was just say there's some some instances where someone in my hair may 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 get a little more than they bargained for, so. Um... <laughs> <laughs> anyway, continue. <laughs> um, <laughs> what what sort of things do you sell in your shop, Baldrick? As she leans in, kind of like cocking her head over, looking at the dimples, and you see like this like blush on her face, like it's a very attractive looking blush because she's uh, aware everybody's looking at her and she's never been a hundred percent um there are some people missing from breakfast like there's not everybody here um mm -hmm. but even even the uh even the residents of the spire are like giving you glances right now um give me an insight check <sighs> okay you know what let's let's see what dnd &D... oh D and D Beyond said natural twenty. Nat twenty, okay. So or, uh, sorry, you, modified modified twenty. Twenty modified. is is good. It's yeah. you get the impression that uh, actually you'll yeah you with the twenty you get the impression that Baldrick doesn't um doesn't speak to people often. He spends a lot of time in his shop, um, and he definitely doesn't um flirt most of the time. He's just he spends a lot of time just working on his inventions. Um, and he looks at you and goes, I, I don't actually sell anything. I um I just uh I take care. But I, if you wanted something made, I could make it for you. Hmm. I like tinkerers. Tinkerers are not tinklers for sure. Um uh he does have and I don't understand where everything has gone today um, um he I has think... a ring he has a ring yes uh, i'm going there right protection. now because i deleted it apparently oh or i just put it in our actual game or our just a disposable ring of protection mm -hmm. oh so he's he'll, he'll look at you and go i've uh i've been working on creating uh actually with uh our and he points over to the orc the little ex the eccentric orc over there um our alchemist over there uh grim we've been working on creating um rings of protection <clears throat> so <clears throat> uh yeah it um anemone will look at baldrick and go well i have a lot better time this morning um if my sister's didn't want to go and observe in the observatory um then i suppose if you could uh lead us lead, lead me i can only speak for myself here um lead lead me to your shop and show me what you've got along with your your friend grim 
she's trying them... to be friendly and flirty like she's backing off on the flirty but she's oh she's it's still working. maintaining yeah it's working he's you see he's got a hand in his hair uh and kind of sets it behind his his uh neck and goes yeah i could definitely do that that sounds real nice um also uh, if you did want anything made which by the way if you do as the dm want anything created specially for you he might be persuaded into doing that ah uh, um anemone it, for the first time anemone is not very charismatic in general so for the first time the fact that she's able to kind of like hold a conversation with someone without blushing is is kind of like oh, you're making him is, blush yeah this is this is a completely different um viewpoint for anemone it's almost like her mind has just opened up she's like oh okay all right um then all right um yeah no i would definitely love to see your shop and see what's all it's all about um, he'll 100 yeah. percent take you up there after breakfast uh is anyone else interested in talking to anyone around the table this morning I kind of just want to um, get a lay of the land if I just want to ask somebody, like, what's in the spire? Is there someone that you want to actually, ask? like, is there an NPC that you want to ask? Because otherwise I'll just pick one. Um, No, I think I wouldn't really know who to ask about what. So I think I would just ask whoever's closest to me. Um, Closest to you? Where Where would you be sitting at the table? At one end, we definitely have the prince, Rosalind, uh, your mother, who has decided that they're taking up one of the sides um, and trying to talk to him. And he's just, he looks defeated. Um, closer, I guess, after you guys would be, um, Galen would be sitting around Rosalind's area. Um you guys, you, I'm assuming you guys would probably want to sit closer together, right? So you guys would file in. Yeah, I'm definitely um, sitting near Galen because we're probably talking about book shit. A hundred percent. And I have something that I've been writing for you about that book that you had. Oh, so, excellent. Um, yeah, uh, you could ask. I'll say sitting closer to you um, because I'm assuming you're sitting furthest away from your mother. Mm hmm. Yeah. Um would be let's see let's see let's see let's see we will have sitting close to you b did i just open the black spire twice i'm the worst today um grimsby mm -hmm. who is our our groundskeeper um he's got the he's the human male with the scar that goes across his uh right cheek to down across his lip um little scruffy sides of his head are shaved brown hair up in like a messy bun um just quietly eating watching uh baldrick flounder and enjoying every second of it um uh, hi i um i was just wondering uh what what kind of things are in the spire i mean i heard there's a library and there was that weird floor with the 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 vibe I, I don't know what's it. Maybe you know could tell me what's in there, if that's okay. The vibe. Well, What'd you just, say? There, there was the floor that we passed that had had a had a weird vibe. It was. Um, oh, the floor yeah. with the vibe. The floor with the vibe. <laughs> um, what vibe? The vibe, vibe with, with the, the power. power. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean. Yeah, I can tell you what's here. I'm Grim, by the way. Oh, hi, Cappy. Or oh, Grimsby, sorry, my bad. Uh yeah, uh nice to meet you. Um we have uh 13 above ground floors. We have um the observatory at the top. Underneath that would be the forge where um Baldrick and Grim like to hang out. Uh we have the Hall of Mirrors. That might be one of the vibes. Nah, probably not the vibes. You, I don't think you've been up that high. No, but what is the Hall of Mirrors? Oh, Hall of Mirrors is... It's a... It was a very nice place back in the day. 
um, it's kind of now a place where we go to see the people we've lost. Um, oh. They show you what you miss the most. So. Just what a people uh, or... room. <laughs> is, it, is it people or can it be other things? It can be anything. Just oh. uh, Evelyn spends a lot of time up there. Um, our, you met Evelyn yesterday. She threw food at you guys. <clears throat> Yeah, I I remember that. <laughs> not not our best moment. And I kind we... of glance at Delphra. <laughs> we uh we have a gallery on the tenth floor. Uh the ninth floor is the prince's. We don't really go there. That's his uh that's his chill domain. Um and Delphur just kind of whispers over, except for Rosalind. And the grin. You can see it's just the most <laughs> lopsided grin that he gets. He's like, he, he looks at uh, at Roz and just like, nice. Yep. <laughs> like, like he would fist bump you, but you're too far. Um... <laughs> and she's going to do a side eye at Cappy's mom, like, yeah, yeah, that's right, bitch. Are you are you sitting the most next to the prince, like smile. on the other side of my mom? Yeah, yeah, nice. Do I need Just... to throw another fork? <laughs> you are welcome to throw whatever you like at mm. me. No, not at you. Just making sure. Uh, we have um, we have a sitting room. That's kind of where we all hang out. Uh. There's obviously the dining hall that you're in. Um, the library's below us. Um, we have the chamber. Oh, the vibes. Got it. Uh, the chamber of eternity where uh, Morgana hangs out. Um, yeah. That's. I don't know how much you know about just Umberfell in general, but uh, we're very. We were very spiritual. Um, very land of the dead kind of area so that's that's a place where the veil is a little bit thinner that we can we talk to those that passed as well kind of thing it, it's uh it, it, i guess you're like a temple for you guys hmm. um chamber of eternity you said yes okay for the breakfast vibes. Yes. she is, is yeah Mugana she's at the she is, yeah. She's at the other end of the table um, around the twins uh, talking to um, actually Norna. They're they're having a that what looked to be a very pleasant conversation. He's he's smiling and and they're conversing, but uh, Cappy, roll the insight. Uh, Seventeen. Seventeen, yeah. Uh, he's very closed down. Like you know, he's normally one of the quieter one, but um, he's still it's less than he normally is. Um, and you get the vibe that uh, Morgana is sensing that you're not sure how long they've been here, but it's enough that she's sensed that and is trying to bring him out of his shell. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, Grimsby looks back at you, goes, "Uh, guest quarters, third floor. That's where you guys spent the night." The throne room is the second floor, which is where you met the prince the first time you were here. Um, and the entrance hall is first floor. Uh, uh, below that is the basement where we have the crypts. And uh, below that are the catacombs, which we don't really go to because it's not safe. Okay. Why? Um. Well, isn't I'm that what, where you were going to send us? Uh. Yep. We were. Oh. So if the reason it's not okay, so it it's not really ever. It's protect. It was protected. It's been warped. It's not. Um. Good luck. 
Uh, is it and very encouraging? Thank you. Is it structurally unsafe or is it no haunted? No. Ha that kind of one, like magic and, and haunted. Gotcha. So it's not it's not unsafe. Um, you'll you'll have to see uh, Oswald. He's he'll be in the in the crypts normally. That's where he is now. That's brother Oswald, right? Yes, tattoo boy. Yeah. Got it. Yes. Uh -huh. Got yeah, it. Tattoo boy. Um, Would Brother Oswald be able to tell us who, who, as in like who, what spirits are around and how we can uh, uh, keep them happy if we pass through? You can definitely ask him. I, that's more his domain than anyone else's here. So, okay. Um. um yeah, I don't like really Connor. go down there. So, unless She's it's to bother Oswald. <laughs> He says, unless oh, um, it's to bother Oswald. I, I'm i not sure if I misheard you, but I missed uh, what you said was on the seventh floor. Because I think you said eighth floor sitting room and then sixth floor dining hall. Is that right? Uh, seventh room. Uh, seventh floor is the um, the sitting room. Um, All right. The eighth floor is really weird. Uh, don't know what happened but it's kind of just turned into like endless hallways. Oh, it I was... hate it when that happens. <laughs> right? Like, it's just so uh... inconvenient. <laughs> endless hallways. The old endless hallway hazard. It was the um, the king and queen's area back oh. in the day. The king and that's right. The prince does not take the title of king and queen. His parents went missing and he hopes for their return? Mm, no. Or not no? Because exactly. Because he hasn't gotten a queen yet. I mean. Uh, and from beside you, um, because you're right there. <laughs> I know. I know. Uh, he just... <laughs> I, um... And she'll just, like, run a hand through his hair. Like... <laughs> His eyes bulge just a little bit. <laughs> She'll like adjust as she goes, like one hand in his hair, and like just you know, I just feel like I'm not quite, I'm a little out of sorts so far. <laughs> you would not be the only one. <laughs> and he goes back to eating, ignoring that part of the conversation <laughs> completely, um, and actually makes conversation with Cappy's mom enough that's just like. <gasps> Like, like, this is not anything uh, that he wants to be part of at the moment. You can roll me Amazing. insight if you want. Yeah. On that. He's that What's desperate that? to avoid the conversation mm -hmm. that he's talking to Cappy's mom. Like, yes. wow. Yeah. yeah. I feel like the, Could we the all boy is very like embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. What What did you roll? I I haven't I haven't gotten there yet. Give me a second. Okay. Okay. Um, so you did ask about his parents, right? Who asked that? You did. Um, I did, Scarlett. yeah. So he, Grim leans over to you and just whispers this part to you, uh, Grimsby. He, he whispers, his parents died when the plague was here. And um, he's been, he never, we just don't, that's not something we really talk about. My apologies. Yes. I misunderstood a conversation I heard yesterday. Mm. I will never bring it up again. Can I uh, argue for advantage because I have him off his game? A hundred percent. Yes. Because 16. <laughs> First 16. Was a 10. Um, I mean, you get the vibe that he's not, it's not that he's not, it's avoiding the queen bit. It's avoiding the fact that he doesn't want the title because it belonged to his parents. Queen Rosalind has such a nice ring to it, though. I mean, again, anything could happen. It is the beginning of the game. <laughs> <laughs> you are welcome to woo. Uh, well, I've clearly done well, so far, You have wooed so. well. Um, you may work towards getting the title of queen. All right. That's you have trauma to heal. <laughs> I know. Who said it can't heal... While under someone else. 
No one said that. <laughs> I was more thinking that he would be healing while under you, but that I mean, also under me, that's fine works too. As that's well. fine. That's fine. That's fine. I have lots of daddy issues. We'll just <laughs> God damn. Um <laughs> My daddy was an elf, remember? Like Yes, daddy was daddy <clears throat> was an elf. Daddy is an elf. Daddy is, daddy still is alive. an elf. Daddy probably needs to die, but um I might need oh, a new wow. daddy. I might need a new daddy though. Did you say that out loud? Because he's yeah, definitely a second just chokes on her. Um, <laughs> um, like, yep, yep, yep. Yeah. Anemone is looking, judging, but not judging. Like, um, she's taking not notes. judging. You're taking she's notes. just major notes on her twin. Just, uh, just now. <laughs> you're floating. Yeah, you know what? He hears you. He definitely yeah. is hearing you. He's turning, like, he's <clears throat> fidgeting with, uh, like, uncomfortable. Kind of, you see his eyes shoot towards Galen and, like, Russell he's that is my cousin right there <laughs> <laughs> you are sitting beside my cousin and she's very much not paying attention because she is trying to make conversation with uh sin right now oh is galen a girl yes, yes. all of yes, these people she's... i assume they're just not because galen's a boy galen, generally a galen men's is name, the... so yes, i just got yes. confused and I just she never, is I didn't the hear library any pronouns girl. the first time. 100% yes, did not ever hear any pronouns. She's the library girl. Um, okay. The beautiful redhead. Yes. He, yeah. he put the pieces, the pieces to put, yeah. Okay. I'm here now. Okay. She's the one that tried to sit with him the first night and you took that spot and was like, I don't understand what's happening right now. Um, but okay. just kind of left. It is her cousin. It's his cousin. So it's not yeah. like I took, yeah. No, she, they're Meanwhile, just, I am, um, they're very close. They're the I'm only family they have left. I'm actively cock blocking Cappy's mom. Yes, you are. <laughs> yeah. And not only is she a you. bitch, you're welcome. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Completely uh, not self serving in any way. Mm -hmm. No, of course not. <laughs> you don't need uh, to seduce my brothers, by the way. I don't plan to. Uh uh. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> I have that, I have enough you can take of my that off the quest list. Yeah, <laughs> I have a prince. I don't need to seduce other <laughs> yeah folks. <laughs> my brothers are off limits. Um, <laughs> um is am I close? At, speaking of the brothers, am I close enough to Morgana to be able to um to ask her something quietly? You could say you're sitting next to the on the other side of Morgana for sure. Okay, um, I I just want to ask her. Uh, Excuse me, Morgana. I I understand that you look after the the temple here, the the worship, the place where people go to worship. Would it be okay if I visited a, a oh. little later today? Of course, you can visit. Um, just make sure I'm there. I will. I I won't go in without you. Yeah. It, it again where the veil is weakest it's not always the safest of places so i see thank you um i'll i'll swim by a little bit later today thank you she nods just uh looks a little bit shocked that someone wants to actually enter that area <laughs> Um, because oh. normally it's just okay. her you get the vibes that it's just normally her in that area they everyone else kind of avoids it um no yeah. Huh. Okay. You said the vibes were weird. They the vibes are weird. Mm. Uh Sin, um Galen is talking to you about the book that you took from yes. the library. Uh The Lost Runes of the Shadow or something like that of Shadow. Something it was something like that. I feel like yeah. I have a whole binder full of my notes, of uh, my translation notes. Uh, I guess I'm like going to find out if she understands the language as a native to the area. And if she does know, I'm going to like ask her about the accuracy of my translation. If she doesn't know, I'd be happy to like share my findings if that's what she's interested in. So she knows more than anyone else would hear. She this like that is her library. Um, and she's able to look through your stuff and be like, um, actually, give me a role. Give me an intelligence role. I need to get check. put some points into intelligence. <laughs> <laughs> I got a nat one. Nat one. Total two. Oh, oh. 
You did okay. So you didn't do it horribly when you were reading it before. You had your um, you had your spell going. You can do that yeah. with advantage. Okay, thank you. Uh, I'll roll again. Please don't be in at one. Oh, I rolled a three for a total of four. <laughs> <laughs> the fame. Oh, no. wants She's me looking to through fail. it and is just like, uh, well, the dialect is wrong. <laughs> it's, it, it's just it's it's a very it's again a language of the dead. So you know it um changes again you can see it on the page it shifts and and sort of rearranges its, its yeah, that is it's... so fascinating i've never seen a language do that before maybe you can walk me through some of the basic syntaxes so i don't get caught off guard next time oh yeah i i can for sure um and you you can come to the library if you want to spend more time there uh by the way the the it's open to you i asked oh thank goodness um She'll go through the book a little bit more with you um, mm -hmm. and tell you, like, what it's about, which it does have a bunch of rare spells, rituals um, that I will create something if you want to go into and spend the time reading this book and learning from this uh, for a couple sessions. I'll give you a free spell or something like that. <gasps> I might have um, to take a level at wizard. <laughs> <laughs> uh it would be something like you get to use it uh once per however long okay kind of like a Baldur's yeah. gate when you get like us once per long rest spell because of kind of some something like that yeah reason. we'll create something that okay. you learned from this especially if she's going to be helping you you can you Ooh. can decode that um so it's written by a uh, very <clears throat> she's telling you that it's written by a uh, it's actually written by spirits. The language is of spirits um, and oh. of the dead. It's from. It's not from this realm. Um, the person that wrote it, Thaldrin uh, Weaver, he was um, an incredible necromancer that actually ended up disappearing um, at some point. They think that he just kind of pieced out of this world and left to the other world full body and intact and is just walking through planes wow. um he, it goes through uh concepts of shadow manipulation and um also talks about things like uh like one of the quotes that she points out to you is like to master the shadow is to learn the silent language of creation in a sense uh it's a whisper in the dark that you can you can shape or you can use to shape worlds or shatter them um and it's it's an interesting conversation that you guys spend a lot of like she'll go into you've hit you've hit special interest she's excited to talk to anyone about this um uh, yeah yeah i think sin is very interested in learning cuz this is like a topic not readily available at home so it's like new roll me a d6 okay three a three that'll take it'll take you three sessions before you get that new spell okay, okay? cool um and i will create that for you that's uh, exciting is... when uh, breakfast is all done. What? Where do you plan to go for the to the for the day? Like, are you going down to the crypts first, or are you guys going to go up I think we're and all going of that? up with an enemy? An enemy wanted us to chaperone her little date with little threesome, the, little dwarfy threesome. <laughs> Just like we didn't she? You have like two people, right? You're going with. I could have sworn you said, yeah, let's go to your uh, shop. Grim, your Grim will be there. The yeah. the alchemist. It a hundred percent sounded like a threesome to me. <laughs> and oh. I mean, if you, you're if welcome you meant, to try for that. If you mention roll that for to threesome, Annie, roll if, for if you, threesome. If you mention that to Annie, um, automatically she starts saying the words potato, potato, <laughs> bridges, <laughs> potatoes, potatoes. <laughs> <Yes, laughs> but then she stops. Typically, are included. Not <laughs> always, but sometimes. <laughs> she she then stops herself and she goes. 
<clears throat> there will be time I... enough for that, okay? We can have a full <laughs> discussion on I... anatomy and the birds and the bees and how best to interact with people's parts later. <laughs> Not right now. That was so <laughs> unsexy. <laughs> um, <laughs> you say that as Rosalind hey. just all night. <laughs> baby can i interact with your parts <laughs> baby can i interact with your parts oh yeah that turns me on i feel like there um, has, i feel like uh, there's a there's a there's a there's a parody here of uh the the, the discovery channel song where you're talking about their parts <laughs> instead of like i feel like it's in there it's um, nothing but mammals, so let's do it like they do on the Discovery Channel. Also, Roll for a needs to be on some merch as well. Roll for threesome. Roll for a threesome. Roll for 14 plus zero because Anemone has no charisma. Worth a threesome? Yes, I rolled a 14. <laughs> the, the safe word has um, to be potatoes. I'm sorry, me, it just has to be. Let me roll right now. I'm going to see how interested they are in any of that. Um, Jesus. Jesus. Are we here to save the world or are we here on I'm going to see how <laughs> open they are to that. Um, I mean, none of them are, seem opposed. None of them oh. seem opposed. None, none of them seem like they're leading into it, but they're like they're not opposed to it. Uh, okay, that's just the vibes you get. They're like, yeah, we spend most of our time together anyway. Whatever. Um. <laughs> Anemone will 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 pass this information on to her sisters on the walk <laughs> towards the observatory, away from their ears, away from like Grim and and Baldrick's ears, because she doesn't she doesn't want to you like, know she's she's already breakfast. embarrassed herself completely halfway through breakfast uh groom ended up leaving um he's just like done he's like i, I don't want to be here anymore um by the time that you're like getting up to the 11th floor there's just an explosion above you and you see you there's no hiding it you can just see baldrick's shoulders every time Every time, I tell him not to touch my stuff. Oh, uh oh! Oh no! I'm so sorry. He's no, touching his stuff. He's he's fine. It's and as you get to the twelfth floor, there is like soot covering one uh, <coughs> side of the room, and bald uh, Grim is like wiping it <coughs> off his face. Like it seemed like a good idea at the time. I may have. Mm, I'm gonna go back over there <laughs> to my yeah. spot, and then I'll sh let me explain what the uh, the area looks like. <laughs> so, as you ascend to the twelfth level, um, you are you're walking into something called the Shadow Forge, which is an arcane workshop. Um, as you walk in, you can feel the energy wash over you. Um, there are tons of different, um, uh, there's the forge, there are machines, there are arcane sig sigils all over the walls. Um, there are, in one side of the, on one side are all of these machines, on the other side are um, just this laboratory where there are potions and uh different um herbs and uh things brewing and bubbling and there are animal bits in jars and you know it, it's a very mishmash of things you can see as you're um looking around there are a lot of places where um Things have been melted on tables. Uh, you get like the idea that like maybe acid. A there's some places where acid m melted through tables. There are um, places where uh, you can see there have been multiple explosions, um, and there are a lot where like closer to the area of uh, Grimm's side of the room, um, <laughs> you can see that like 
there the forge has this like blue flame in it um and when you get close to it it's not hot it's actually cold um it's a magical fire that um that baldrick uses um and there are even in one tucked away in one corner under a sheet seems to be like um uh another hand a foot kind of like coming out it might be um it's humanoid ish looking under the sheet um and he looks around and goes ah so this is it um not many people come up here or spend time here uh because that asshole over there likes to not listen to the rules of the forge you know it's fine it's it's like uh it's a it's like every day when when i hang out with my sisters we say we're gonna do something and then we end up you know having happy happy fun times <sighs> happy goofy fun times with with, you know, with people with people, with people. <laughs> and then you hear and then like as he as Baldur goes also uh grim just interrupts <laughs> also like i mean you know sometimes you see you touch the hands they get itchy you touch the things you're not supposed to touch the things they blow up it's not always my fault also you never know how things are going to react have when you, ever you mix things together so have have you ever talked to my sister delphra <laughs> <laughs> no I think you would get along. Would... I think she, Hi. she's right there. Do you like to blow you... stuff up too? Because I really like to blow stuff up too. And I, 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 I said the quiet part out loud. But you know, it's okay. Uh, he knows that. We found a and um, <laughs> he goes, that's why, uh, you know, I wear my, I wear, and he puts up this little bird skull. I, I remember to always not have people when I touch the things in here now. Oh. Well. Was that your friend? Just, mm, uh, actually, I have a name for him because it is actually his pet. Um, the bird skull, he looks at it, he goes, yeah, this is, this was Flappy. Aw, oh, not Flappy. We don't touch, we don't touch when other people are around. Very wise. I'm sorry Flappy had to be the catalyst for that lesson. I'm still learning that lesson. Hopefully we will not be your Flappy, Delphra. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a good, it's a good lesson to learn. It's a good lesson to learn. But also, sometimes you touch the things because they are... Pretty? Yeah. That is Exciting. that. They're pretty. <laughs> Or they smell good. Or maybe they might taste good. And you never know. Until you try. Exactly. And Baldrick is looking at you, Annie, like, what? If I had known in advance, I wouldn't have brought her up here or let them interact at all. We we because... wanted to see the forge. I usually come here. I come with my sister. I, you know, I get it. Uh, I just feel like this might be a bad pairing to have together. In the same, con just on the same continent in general. Same <laughs> continent. <laughs> I think. I think you know. Sometimes people require spice in their lives. Um, I'm a rather spicy person myself, which brings me to a question for you. Actually, um, I noticed that you had a really cool arm, and I figured that sort of work um, is really important um and really then she's she's starting to like get flustered with 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 talking and discussions because she realized this was probably not the greatest idea but she she had she had things to do today um uh -huh. anemone will then go so listen um i was wondering do you know anybody here and you're you're an art, you're someone who works with amazing tools and weapons and gear um who could possibly craft something for me uh yep me Def great. definitely me. great yeah cool so I, I was wondering um so my sisters and i sometimes we get into hairy situations and i'm i'm usually supposed to be there for my sisters um kind of to help shield them um if possible and i've noticed that 
sometimes when we get into fights um or we, we get into scuffles with well we we got into a scuffle with a dragon at some point but um i i wasn't there his eyes just go wide like <laughs> It, they were a sweet dragon and we didn't mean to hurt them and it was a whole huge misunderstanding um long story long very long story um just wondering do you have anything magical or otherwise that i could use to maybe cast some sort of shield magic on my sisters if i see them in danger so that at least they have that on them before i can get to them that kind of thing uh you want like you want to be able to cast a spell like a shield i i i might yeah i don't ha i don't know how to make magic myself but i figured if i had an item that can cast it for me i could do something with that or some sort of potion that'll help me become faster or something that'll help me protect my sisters when when i am about 60 to 100 feet away from them and they're getting pummeled by a tree that's or, oddly or... specific um I don't get angry ones. that often. You're not your tree. I mean, the other tree, the one that like, you know the what I'm talking. Tree? The Grim immediately what? jumps in here, like, "Can you make trees punch other tree people?" The, the, I, <laughs> Technically, is this, is this an what? option that you know, we? I know that we're talking about exploring. wood, but that was like other conversations. Hey, and that's <laughs> that's Grim who just like, yeah, let's well, we're gonna get a fist bump in there. Um, there okay. <laughs> Uh, is this he's just really option? hot um, yeah. yeah like he's something... a very attractive mm -hmm. person yeah yeah yeah, he is. yeah. but also like oh, i just like people in general yeah. like things, yeah things sorry i like things i'm attracted to things i like dwarves on <clears throat> looks okay <laughs> And uh, at that, you hear the clang of a bunch of tools falling off a table as that <laughs> caught uh, Baldrick's attention and was just not expecting it. Um, again, <laughs> this, poor, this poor man. Uh, I... here's, here's what I could do for you. Uh, I can work on an item for you. Um, something I can definitely work at creating. Um and in the meantime, I have a few of these. Uh, and he gives you um, three disposable rings of protection. Which oh. are, um, they're made of like a laminate kind of part particle board that uh, basically uh, give you a plus one to your AC um, for a day. So you will activate them, wear that for a day, and then it is gone. It is just a piece of... That reminds me of talismans and Pathfinder. Very cool. He goes, I have uh, three of them right now. Um, what could I do to... Do you want me to give you some of my gold to kind of... <laughs> these no, that, feel like... I mean, mm -hmm. Delphra just kind of goes, um, uh, Annie, I don't think he wants gold. Uh -oh. So we don't really have an economy at the moment. Um, oh, would wouldn't gold help if you like? I could try to find some. I've got I've got if people you, it, I've got people in my home country that I could probably you just take you know. it. Um, <laughs> you can just say, here you go. Thank you for talking to me. And then <laughs> to look at the rings, and then she's gonna bend down and actually, is it all right if I give you a kiss on the cheek? Big grin, little bit of a blush. His dimples are out, like it's just. Yeah, it, yeah. She gives him a peck on the cheek and goes, "Thank you so much. You have been <laughs> most helpful." Aww. <laughs> um, and I know that my sister's also. They're great. I love them. I love them to bits. Um, but see, careful, yeah. Annie. We can hear <laughs> you. What are you doing? I thought, I thought, I thought, I thought, but she's she's she's, <laughs> she's like leaning in we'll while stop. she's while she's well after she kisses him, she's leaning in. Um, my sisters, I love them to bits, but I know that sometimes they can get a little bit overwhelming in their amazing powers of of persuasion. So, um, you know, if you. If you really need any help, 
I can't help you. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but um, if my sister, my sister over there, you know, the redhead that kind of is with the prince. Um, if you she's, have anything, she's, she's with, got. She's got. I uh, have white, white hair. With, in, white hair. It's okay. Um, you know, uh, sorry. Like you have a ginger sister. I was unaware. Sorry, <laughs> my, my, my sister, my sister with the blonde, the the platinum, that one, the one with the, with the prince. Um, um, she likes um. She likes to shoot things sometimes. So if you have any arrows or anything like that, that can possibly um, help her with anything on our journey, um, would be cool. <clears throat> Thank you. And she Aww. kisses the other cheek and then kisses his forehead. And she goes, a cappy, uh, Clover. <clears throat> he's, he's looking at you like, I have just had more affection than I have had in a bajillion years and doesn't know what to do with it. Uh, Neither does Anemone, honestly. She does not know what has come over her. <laughs> Let me check something because I think if you want immediate arrows, um, one, somebody might have them. I just have to check. Um, is it Grimsby? Where is he? Yeah, I saw it like not too long ago. Where is this man? There he is. Yeah. Um, he has... Yeah, so he'll... um. I don't have anything currently, but if you if you go to Grimsby, he has some that I need. Do you um have anything? I I don't need armor or weapons or anything. Do you know if there's maybe some magical uh spells or some sort of magic I might be able to use I to help prepare? Prepare for what? Well, what is apparently going to be our dangerous journey into the bowels of the castle? Um, again, I would, I, I Oswald would be the best to ask about that. And, uh, but it spells a lot of us know how to cast something. So, uh, if you're willing to put the work in, we'll teach you what we know. Uh, yeah, I I would appreciate that. I mean, I guess if we don't have a ton of time, maybe it'll have to wait. Uh, I I suppose it would be how adept you are at magic in the uh, what you're trying to learn. I'm not great at learning magic that way. I I'm not you know I don't really learn magic from books or anything, so I oh. I'm not really exactly sure. How I would learn a new spell, I just I just kind of see something and I think it looks cool and then I practice it a little bit and it, it, it's, it's you know, something uh, new. Uh, do you carry spell scrolls, perhaps? Oh, uh, I don't. Uh, again, uh, I think Galen might have some. Uh, okay. Or... You know, spell scrolls, can... healing potions, or any alchemical substances that might give us an edge. Grim's hand shoots up immediately. Mm -hmm. I I do all the potions over here. If you want to see. I look at Cappy like an encouraging, magic. hey, if you can't learn a spell, you could always throw a spell. This In is the where the magic potion. happens. Where all of the good things come and sometimes the bad things when they touch some of Baldrick's things. You're not supposed to cross the streams. <laughs> um, but it's fun! <laughs> I <laughs> like you. But uh, he'll, he's, po he's pointing out some of the potions to you as you come across. Uh, and if you... I mean, I'm not going to make you roll to them. They're labeled. He makes... Uh, you can tell that they are not labeled in his hand i'm not even gonna make you write like um roll for this because his shit is so disorganized that you know for a fact that at some point baldrick has gone across and just written on them Aww. what they are because they have had this problem before where he is he tried to poison someone have. and accidentally gave them extract of lava something yeah <laughs> or or poison for Cusco. 
<laughs> it's not poison. That's extract of lava. <laughs> Uh, he's got a couple so healing much. potions, um, regular ones, uh, greater healing potions. There's a potion of fire breath. Um, there's potions of water breathing, uh, d- diminu- diminution and enlargement. Um, he goes, it's what I have right now, but I can also, I can also make things if given a day or two, depending on what you want. Um, Anything? Anything? Yeah. Well, what? I think what? that uh, do we you would need want... explosives? Uh, and that sometimes... is directly to Delphra. Sometimes. Oh God. Oh, is he? Do you? <laughs> I have many explosives. Can you make them green? <laughs> I can make them any color you want. Can you make them? Yes. Can I? I have rainbow glitter? explosives. <gasps> yes. I the want green glittery ever. He pulls out just there are barrels of black powder. <laughs> <laughs> your your pause after pulls out. It's just it was so ah! perfect. <laughs> he pulls out pause 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 pause. pause, pause. Oh, but... <laughs> I'm fucking crying right now. <laughs> um, <laughs> Um, oh man! Yeah. I picked the wrong day to not have a drink. <laughs> I the right day to have. We'll make you. I'm out. I'm <laughs> out. <laughs> make you the stuff. Mm. I will make you the glittery explosions, and they will do can, many can damages. They have, can they have like flowers when they explode? He, you see, you him try to throw a funeral for whoever you threw that at. Of course. <laughs> I will make this happen. I don't know how I'm going to make this happen, but I'm going to make this happen. And Delphine just like squeals and goes like, (laughs) and then wraps her arms around her like, (laughs) there's like, there's, he's fully like, his arms wrap around you immediately. And then you guys are kind of bouncing together just a little bit. Like (laughs) this is, he's he's thinking about how he's going to make, um, uh, he's going to call it the projectile funeral. Um, and (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> i'm sure we could put music in this too yeah oh my gosh i'm sure they and, make music just for this I'm purpose sh- i'm sure you could put some background dancers in there too <gasps> morgana knows illusion spells and baldrick is like this is how i lost my arm <laughs> oh, no. oh this is how i lost my arm and that stops him for like about five seconds where he's looking at Baldrick and like but it was an accident I didn't mean it and did you really like how was I supposed to know that it would be really that reactive and I'm so sorry I've apologized like a million times like Baldr- Baldrick's like it's fine I have a better one what what can it do my arm what that hand do yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> Anemone tenses, looking very, very interested in what is about to happen. And what about that body in the corner? It has, it has a bunch of yeah. different attachments. Um, oh. <laughs> really? I love I'm it when they come with attachments. She just kind of like, she just kind of like pokes Anemone in the ribs, like what? what? Uh, Baldur is <laughs> most like it's not the <laughs> size, okay? <laughs> Leave when he says it has a bunch of different attachments, he's giggling. <laughs> um, full giggling, got the big like the has a bunch of different attachments. Uh, and then he just goes over to the the body in the corner that you pointed out and just pulls the tapestry off of it. Uh, and it's this tiny little robot looking creature. Um, it has this barrel body, um, these big eyes that are reflective when the light catches them um and he goes i this was the first version of well i made the first version i made is something called a companion cube about a couple weeks ago i made it for evelyn i was hoping to make her something that would follow her around and and talk to her Oh, um, would that be Evelyn, Evelyn, Evelyn? 
uh, the one that oh, the husband. maid. The maid. Yeah. Yeah. Well, are you she's... friends with her? We I mean, were all friends here. Oh, okay. There aren't many of us. So. Oh, okay. Hmm. Uh, Evelyn's. Evelyn's everyone's friend. Can I insight check to see if he's had a thing with her? Oh, 100%. Uh, <laughs> roll, roll the insight. Roll. Listen, one thing Anemone, one thing Anemone doesn't do is home wreck. Oh no, she doesn't have a husband anymore. He's dead. She so. still doesn't home wreck. Eighteen <laughs> plus. That um, sounds really crass and rude, and I'm so sorry. Um, I just bet you can't crash a home that only one person lives. No, in no, 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 because no, it is Anemone's, not. Anemone's they trying have to never had it. an affair. They have never yeah. had. When he says Evelyn's everyone's friend. You get the idea that everyone here is very protective of Evelyn. She is a sweetheart, and her being as pure throwing anything at you guys was not something they thought was possible. So wait, she's their friend, but she's also their servant. That was he. Do you do you do you ask that question? No, that's Scarlet asking. Like that's their buddy who she has to go around serving tables while they all eat dinner together. She she eats at the table normally. Okay. She doesn't do that. Even when once the food was on the table, there's a the old the elderly butler sat down with you guys. Okay. Um, like there are the table that you sit at is so long and so big. There should be so many more people there, but there isn't. Okay. This is who is in the castle and left, kind of. And uh, they're, uh, they they all take part in keeping the castle going. Okay. So <laughs> everybody does their part. Evelyn was a maid beforehand and still likes to take care of things and has been putting herself into that more and more since her husband passed. Gotcha. Anemone's going to look at that. And as she's inciting this situation and everything that has been happening, um, she's going to turn towards Cappy. Does, with a 19 insight, does she even get anything from Cappy? Just based on like oh, what yeah, had happened yeah. at breakfast and everything like that? Because I don't think Anemone would let that pass. <laughs> um, You mean what happened with her brothers? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think I think it's pretty apparent. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I definitely don't think you need a 19. Like, her eyes are red rimmed, like, she's been crying. Um, Annie's gonna look around and look to Baldrick. Well, then, I think my request is in most capable hands with the most capable people, and um, I look forward to seeing your work. Um, again, it's just mostly a shield, something that I can shield my girls with as you can see we're also family here and friends um so i definitely understand fan fan friendship and fan family um as for evelyn um maybe is there is there anything we can do to kind of like lighten the load could i could i possibly <laughs> um, help around do anything i'm not really graceful or anything but i mean i'm okay i'm not i'm not the best with with charming people but i'm i'm okay with following directions and orders i have absolutely no idea um it would be have to something you would have to talk to her about and i wouldn't recommend it uh, okay, uh okay, just okay. in the fact that you know you killed her husband oh i did yeah uh he was uh just uh, so you're aware and that's and this is kind of uh leading down a path where he closes down a bit he was a really nice person and uh he walks away to go start like the flame and is looking through materials very awkwardly annie is going to um watch him does he cast a spell or anything to like flash burn this particular fire or flame um flash burn you know what he does not but what the way he uses flash burn and i'm going to tell you this because you'll have to you'll have to catch him working uh he uses it to solder um 
metals together. So I know that's something if you're interested in working at with, you'll have to catch him actually working. Um, he's, but the way he starts the, uh, the forge going is you see him run a finger over um, some runes and they begin to light up with this uh, blue color. This very luminescent blue. And then the whole forge begins to, uh, all the runes on the forge begin to light up. And the fire that is there, normally that magical blue fire, uh, erupts through this, the middle part of the forge. Um, and a chill goes through the room as it's a cool flame that he's about to start working with. Um, is there anything else that you're doing while you're here? Um I'm going to be like, um, excuse me, Roderick. Um, Roderick? Is it Roderick? So if I say his name wrong. Baldrick. Baldrick. I'll be okay. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, Baldrick. Um, I just want to say we're sorry about your friend. I know I may have been a bit callous the other night, but if you were in our positions and thought your whole family was going to die, I think you would have made the same decision we did. Roll me an insight. Eighteen. Eighteen. Um, he's not disagreeing with that fact. You can see it on his face, but you can also see something kind of cross over his face that's just like uh sir he'll say it to you sir blackthorn was a very gentle soul well he might have been our one of our guards he um he wouldn't have attacked first and that is like it's it's a very they did not attack you they warned you. I'm not even going to make you roll. They warned you to leave. Okay. They asked you to turn back multiple times. And you guys fought them. Did they not, like, when we said Didn't no, I throw we're the not first leaving. Punch. Yeah, you guys were like, no, we're not leaving. We're coming through. And they're like, please just go home. Uh, Moonling shouldn't be here. It was very menacing when they did it. I thought yeah, they well, were they're like in the ghost dark. zombies. <laughs> Yeah, yeah that's the thing though they're in the dark they're like you can't see them yeah. this is you knew nothing about this place other than bad yeah it was definitely it felt threatening in the time and it's pretty horrifying to hear the other side of it i don't think sin will make any excuses for it um the bad guys right um, well <laughs> she's already she's already going through like a faith crisis right now so she's yeah. pretty much been like everything i knew was a lie um she um, does want on the a potions, side note though. i think that you have a very nice voice when you break into song like that oh thank you <laughs> <laughs> that was not the what i expected you to say just now <laughs> I, I have thought, you've done it a few times while we've been playing, and I've thought it every time, but I've never said it. No, so. You know, it's not the same thing, but it, okay, what's the, so you know how it echolalia, where you can't help but, like, just repeat a sound? That's kind of like whenever I trail off, it's a habitual thing to trail off melodically to make it, I guess, more lighthearted, and I forget that I do that. That's so funny. I, I it's really like cute. It. Yeah, I think it's adorable. <laughs> um, I'm going to be thinking about it all the time now. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's okay. Um. <laughs> uh, with that, if you guys are like, the vibes right now, even Grim, uh, it's not that anyone is angry. They understand. It's that they're mourning. Yeah. Right? They're mourning the loss of someone that they have been here for years with and were very close with. Um, you know, this only uh, happened like two weeks ago, right? Yeah, so. it's only been like two or three weeks. It's very fresh. This is someone that, you know, they spent nights playing cards with that they've, you know, been drinking with that they've this is this is their family. This is who's left of this world for them. And uh, and one of their friends is hurting very badly still. 
Mm -hmm. Uh, so it's not that they're mad. It's just that they don't. They're they not want to like. It. They're not over it. They want to like you, but they also. It, you're also who did the thing. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <sighs> Taking that into consideration, Annie will 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 just nod and go. Hmm. Um. Again, I think my my business is in very good and very capable and very wonderful hands, regardless of how many appendages they have. Um, it's a very soft smirk, a little <laughs> bit of a smile, and he goes, "I'll uh, I'll see you at dinner." Definitely. And she will walk over and look over Cappy and then look over Clover and she'll she'll just be like, whenever you guys are ready, I'm going to go down to the Oracle room if you guys are interested. I, I want to check that place out, but I'll wait for you guys outside the door. Um, I'm interested. I, I it's I sounds a little scary, but I also kind of I don't I'm interested. I want to go. I want to go there. I will also see you guys at dinner and I will work on making some sort of projectile funeral. But you can see as he's saying that, he feels a little bit bad about saying that as the conversation, <laughs> at the conversation that you've just had. Um, But it's not deterring him even in the little, even in the slightest. He's like, he feels it's bad about it, but I'm going to make something that blows people up. Well, they said it was haunted down there, right? We're not, are we hunting people or are we laying spirits to rest? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. We'll keep that Again, in mind. I don't go down there. I explode things up here. All right. We um, will make an extra effort to avoid unnecessary violence. Given the state of things, but I mean, just, just if just there are us. mindless monsters that need to be de dealt with, we will deal with them with a parade. Uh, sorry, a funeral bomb. Is that I what like calling idea. it? Yes, funeral I bomb. Like Flowers this idea. Um, I do we want to take to whatever. We can call it the procession. Yes. Yes, and then okay. there's like a little bounce, um, and he's getting to he's gonna turn and get to work working on this procession now. <laughs> I'm sorry, um, I'm but in all the time that I have ever played D and D, have DM'd, I have never met such a hobo murder hobo druid in my life, and I can't believe I'm doing this right now. <laughs> I love it; it's fantastic. <laughs> Um, and I am actually worried that you may have met someone that can supply you with a bunch of things that make things worse. Oh, uh, no. I shouldn't have created mm -hmm. this character. <laughs> <laughs> um, with flowers, go. I do want to have whatever potions he's willing to give us. I don't. I know he said he doesn't have an economy. Um, he's willing to wake more. Again, things like if you send them to me, he will. Well, or just like the healing to... potions and stuff that you oh, said yeah. he had. Yeah, yeah. Uh, um, can I, I'd he have, always has those. Always. Can I, can I have some? I right suspect now? we won't be going down into the crypts until like probably tomorrow, right? Like you are welcome cause... to go. You were welcome to go today. Um, so you can do whichever you like. Um, okay. Like if you wanted to talk to Brother Oswald about it, you wanted to go to the thing to other places in the castle. You're welcome to. Um, okay. the potions that yeah. he has right now, he has about uh, he has about three. Um, lesser, so like the lesser healing potions, the regular ones, and okay. then um, two greater potions of healing. Okay. And uh, are they just going to give those to us, or do we need to trade for them? I'm not. You I, have. I'm trying to mechanically acquire as many healing potions as is role play socially. Uh, not rude. Right. Okay. So, <laughs> just with, just with who he is, and. The fact that he's all he really likes, I'm gonna say like right now, he really likes Delphra. Um, this is a bad combination. Uh, he will give you um he will give you two of his healing, he will give you two of his uh regular healing potions and one of his greater healing potions. He keeps at least a few on hand in case he blows himself up. So 
Okay. I put those in my backpack, ladies, to give to whoever needs them. Just so you don't like double up. I just put those in my inventory. And any of those other ones that you want, like if there's a fire breath, the water breathing, um, diminution yeah. or enlargement, yeah. he's willing to like give you those as well. He has no problem making potions. He just does this because he's bored. So Okay. <laughs> oh, so it's kind of like a refresh thing where like he has a certain amount of potions on hand at any given time. So we can't yeah, have a million of them. If someone takes them, then he'll make something else. Um, like you come you back know. after a long rest and the uh, and the merchant has <laughs> yeah. restocked. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Could you tell me it, what the other sense, ones yeah. were? Dragon breathing. So a potion of fire breath, oh, um, fire breath. which uh, as basically as a bonus action, you can exhale uh, fire within... 30 feet of you. Um, it makes a dex saving throw. You do 46 damage. Um, half as much Damn, on a save and all of that. Uh, the water breathing is uh, you could breathe underwater for an hour. Um, yeah. Diminution or is uh, you basically you get really tiny um, and or oh. you can make other people tiny kind of thing and it lasts for 1d4 hours and um yeah. Uh the, there's the enlargement, which is not what I should have. This is not what I should have put in here now that I'm saying so this. So I'm taking that one back you to the bedroom tonight with the prince, right? You don't need it. Uh it also lasts <laughs> for one D four hours. <laughs> Wait, and large. Oh, why I, I don't have that in my roll twenty. Um anemone will will yell from the door. Oh uh Sid, could you could you get me a couple of potions of the fire breathing potion, please? I will I will spot you five hundred gold. I don't have to pay for them. He's not they don't have an economy here. This is bar this is bartering. But you've also made a good enough impression on Grim that he's oh. willing to just give away his stuff. Again. Okay. How do you spell he now has, large? Uh E N L uh, A-R-G-E. That's what large. I thought, yeah. That's not, if for some reason it's not in my D&D Beyond. That's so weird. Uh, I do make some of these and I just realized that I put the same description oh. on a couple of these. Yeah, there's, but it's it's like the reduce and enlarge spell, more or less. Okay. Okay, thank you so um, much. Oh, potion just, of growth. It's e growth, okay. Yeah. It's just easier for me to remember if it's in my uh thing. Cool, um, I got it all in there. Yeah, yeah, I'll yeah. give you I'll give you a okay. better description because I think I screwed this up in here. Um, okay. Yes. Um, Annie will take two potions of fire breath because reasons. Um, and um, she will also take one potion of enlarge. Just, yeah, just 100%. Out of character. Oh, wait. Do you want it? I can take it out of my inventory. The oh. water breathing and the growth. No, no, no. Fire breath and growth. Okay. I will get that out uh, of my there, inventory. If you're interested, and I'm going to say this now, mm -hmm. you should probably all take a potion of water breathing for future use. Oh, okay. okay sure. Okay. Oh, sure. Is there enough for Does all of us enough to have all of us? For these, yes. Thanks. Oh, okay. Okay. So, for yeah, these, we... yes, everyone should probably have at least one. Okay. Um, but and... one only one fire breath, and we're going to give that to an enemy? There are two. Yeah, there are two. Oh, okay. And then an enemy take them both. I think it makes more sense for you to have them. Thank you. Um, yeah, I was just throwing it in my inventory for memory, like to help me remember because I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. like writing down. Um, you guys I can break it. I all have up the bag of holding, too. so. <laughs> oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Roger. So I just assume that I'm the one, like in character, just like. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. Putting it all in there and, but, and holding onto it to help you remember. Definitely stick it in your inventory so that uh, you know what you're doing sounds good um okay did you guys want to take a quick break yeah yeah we can do okay so we'll, yeah we yeah. will do a quick five minute break and then you guys can head down to the veiled room um okay Damn. Damn you. <laughs> Damn. Oh, boy. hi we are not talking about sex no um how did he do that and we are back. Uh, you guys, uh, somebody wanted an aside here, right? Uh, Anemone, <clears throat> you wanted an aside? Um, yeah, so yes. as you guys are, you're outside, um, Clover and Cappy join you? Yep. Is who you wanted to talk to? Yep. That's just really quickly. What? Do you um, okay, so Anemone is going to pull out the rings and she'll give one to uh, Cappy 
and one to clover. Oh. I think you will need these more than I do. Um, just because I can't really wear heavy armor. It's not my thing. I'm not a heavy armor kind of girl. So um, these should protect you at least once. I figured <clears throat> you guys get into a lot of problems. Sometimes when we get into fights, you tend to be the ones that get attacked because your magic kind of draws the creatures into you or whatever. And sometimes some of us taller ones can't really get to you right away. And I'm usually the one who tries to run as close as I can so I can push things out of your way so you can mobilize. At least with this, uh, in case we get into a hairy situation, um, you know, things will be a lot easier to manage on your hand. At least you'll be able to, you know, deflect some of that damage, even if it's a little bit until um, cute dwarf man brings me or creates shield hopefully he'll be okay it sounds like he's got a really explosive roommate um when you, as you are like finishing that sentence uh baldrick sticks his head out the door and it, it, it looks you up and down and he goes did i just hear that you can't wear armor um not heavy armor like i can't wear chain mail but i can i can carry a shield um, I can carry like a half plate. Maybe um, we'll work on that. Yeah. And then he disappears. I can do a breastplate. <laughs> um, um, and then gone. And, and <laughs> <laughs> she said breast. <laughs> no, he just like I'd have to measure you for that. I don't think we're there yet. <laughs> um, um, <laughs> she give she she. I'm not gonna say it on stream, but um, and then me gives out her measurements to him with regardless of what he says or thinks this is my size i'm used to it just clank 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 and then suddenly just it goes like as loud as he possibly can like i not now not now um they're double d's uh, <laughs> okay really? thank you i always thought they were triple that g thank no, you for that information that but uh, you say that, that never mind <laughs> <laughs> and then he's like wait this is this is this is normal this is what you talk about when you're like with your lady friends who are also warriors i mean you, you have to know each other's sizes just because armor is weird <laughs> little um, do we know and he has to... all of our sizes <laughs> oh, she fucking knows you guys inside and out. Like you, she's measured you while you're sleeping, just in case he, she needs to get you something. Oh my not, gosh! No <laughs> way! Not creepy. Wait, no, no. Annie, Annie's not completely like that. Although she's guesstimated. She's and been watching you guys. On, I'm sorry, bitch. Last session, you said you saw your 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 party masturbate. <laughs> okay, I need you. What? I need you to take Wait, that back for a second. What? Huh? Yeah, I remember that. Well, I'm sorry, um, but I missed I missed that entire thing. Did we thing. all uh, miss it? Yeah, I, yeah. Well, well, I didn't. Go. I didn't. Uh, what, was I not what? here for that one? Was that one of the ones that I was doing in opera? Because I don't remember this at all. No, like you were here. <gasps> she was just like I have. So when when the when Marigold offered to explain to her how the vagina works, because she was like <laughs> virgin. Vagina. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. yeah. Um, and then she was like, "Yes, I have. This is information I can use. I have seen my sisters have to do this at some, like." And I was just like, "What?" Did you do? I mean, I do like being watched, but that's different. No, it's a mis. It's probably a miscommunication at it this was, point. In it stage. was, an, you know, you guys travel together. It happens. Um. Uh. Listen, we're gonna move on from this. <laughs> <laughs> and then he suddenly feels like a creep. Like, it's not a thing oh, I do on road no. trips, typically <laughs> with non partners but it's okay. <laughs> I'm starting to blush. Guys! <laughs> oh my God. God. Any song, theme song is Creep. That is that is, <laughs> the, that is oh, her no. theme song now. Oh shit, hey guys, we have raiders for this oh, exact conversation. Oh um, man. Excellent. Hi guys! 
<laughs> Welcome. 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 This is pretty Annie. normal for us, honestly. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Annie's too honest for words. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Um, <laughs> uh, oh, crap. You guys, um, uh, <clears throat> you guys head off to the uh, Oracle. 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 <laughs> We're going to the Oracle. Before we go to the Oracle, Annie's going to just look over towards Sin and go, hey, tosses the other ring towards Sin. Aww. So she got them the three rings for defense because those are the three that tend to get hit when Annie's not around. Yeah. That's very nice. Aww, because both cute. because both Delphra and Rosalind, she has noticed, like to take care of themselves and she knows how great they are. She's she tries to keep an eye on them, but like <laughs> <laughs> there's some of there's levels. I, I wish I got it with you. you. It's all good. I just need you to help me not fall into like a pit of mud with worms. That's all. <laughs> that I can do. Annie can do that. Annie can so do that. It's so nice. Um, so all three rings have been dispersed to Sin, um, Cappy, and Clover. Oh, to me? Okay. I missed yeah. that. Yeah, she just said oh, that. I don't know why. I just, my ears didn't pick up Sin. I'm like, oh. Aurora. I- I put it right next to that's why I I uh so used to just referring to her as a sin. Um no. I know. Uh she puts it right next to the ring that Orion gave her. She's just like oh. <laughs> <laughs> I should get my nails done. It'll make the whole thing look nice. Girls' yeah. night. Uh, no, actually, oh. what you don't know is that Diana has like four or five different nail polish shades in her bag. Um Ooh. Um, something to think about when we go say hello at well, some point. We, we need to go have a conversation with her anyways because we need to get her laid. Ha ha ha. Um Oh we'll we'll help with that. Yeah, no problem. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She's gonna she's she's gonna pass out. She's gonna be deceased by the end of that conversation. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know what's gonna come out of Anemone's mouth afterwards. <laughs> it could be not potatoes. Um, it cool. could be yeah. vaginas. It could be. It could be vaginas. It could be. It could be virgins. But they wouldn't be virgins. It could be virginas. Virginas. Thrisums. Sorry. But yeah, um, Hall of Oracles, please. Yes, welcome to the fourth floor, the Chamber of Eternity, uh, a sacred enclave nestled within the heart of the Black Spire. Um, Situated, again, on the fourth floor, this chamber serves as a mystical conduit between the living and the afterlife, uh, allowing for communication with spirits beyond the veil. As you step into the Chamber of Eternity, the air shifts, carrying a faint scent of lingering incense uh the room is bathed in a soft dim light emanating from ethereal symbols that are all over the walls um and a bunch of almost they look to they look to you like uh like like floating candles in the air um you are welcome to do an insight on that if you like or, uh, sorry, a perception? Mm-hmm. Uh, 16. 16. 15. Um, perfect, perfect, perfect. So. 21. 24. Ooh. Six. Wow. There we go. Okay. <laughs> 15 and 16. Uh, for the six, you're just like, oh, candles. For the 15 and 16, you are like, oh, uh, something about uh, Morgana and illusion spells was mentioned not too long ago. Um, with the 20s and up, these candles are bits of spirit that are illuminating this place. A little morbid. Um, Um, with the 24, bits of broken spirits, or like, is this a bad thing or a good thing? With the 24. Um, no one is being harmed. It's part of a spirit plane. So it's been harnessed. Nothing is alive in that sense. Can they recognize a person, though? 
From those candles? No. Mm-hmm. Okay. From the shadows that seem to walk and dance on the walls? That's not natural. Like my nightmares? This is great. In a sense. I mean, I guess. Sure. Yeah. There are, you can see shadows walk on the walls, dance. Like there's, they're like almost following you. Like they're interested in what you're doing. Um, At the center of the chamber is a uh, dais with, again, all of those symbols that are on those walls are in that dais. Um, There's a, a bit of a uh, a little haze around the dais. Um, an energy that you can feel coming from it. Uh, you're welcome, again, to roll an arcana if you want to figure out what type it is. 22. But 22, jeez. Five. Five, okay. 22. 20. 20, 20, 22. I mean, that makes sense. Okay, so uh-huh. the... Not 20. Not 20. Arcana? Arcana? Uh, 17. I mean, it's definitely, it's necrotic. It's ne- it's necromancy. It's, um, it's also, uh, it's, it's radiant <clears throat> as well. Like these, the magic coming off of that. It's not of this world. It's not of this plane. It is, again, where you are, you are connected to somewhere that is beyond here. Um, it's a very sacred space that you have entered. And standing at the dais, uh, there's a big, reading a giant tome, um, is Morgana, uh, who looks up when you come in and is just like, oh, you, you made it. Wonderful. Uh, what can I do for you? Uh, greetings, um, Madam Hello Shade. Uh, my name's Annie. I figured I would give you my name because I don't think we've actually spoken together up front before, although you may have met members of my sisterhood. Looks around, kind of asks, and like, has anyone really met her? Uh, Morgana, by the way, has... She's a very slender, tall elf. She's dressed in... Um, sheer a sheer black dress um lots of lace not sheer in the lay in the sense that there are layers of like lace and mesh on top of everything um long white hair that is put up in a ponytail um very elegant um black makeup she walks over to you Annie um, and puts out a hand and at the end she has these very long black nails but she's very delicate and she puts a hand out for you to to like shake your hand a pleasure a uh, pleasure um, I, I figured I would come in here because I haven't really seen anything like a shrine or a temple like place in a very long time and I was very curious this is where you um present the halls of the dead did you wish to pray um i I personally would like to pray or at least uh, just honor uh some of the folks that we may have been um encountering that may require honoring and also uh to kind of send um Send a quick prayer to 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 an entity that I know, uh, but isn't worshipped in these parts. I don't think. But uh, uh, my sisters here, we, we were just curious about this place because it was rather interesting. I, she, when you say um, you say your spiel, she gestures to a shield in the corner of the room with incense around it and if that's who you mean um and she's uh she if you look at the shield there is a there's the tenbrosen um 
symbol on it, the the symbol of the palace. And then there is there's a name which uh is Blackthorn. And she's assuming that you mean to pay respects. So and she'll point to that. Um the you're welcome to pray to whoever you like here. Just sometimes you get answers. I, uh, I also to... had sorry. Sorry, um, Clover. No, you're okay. Um I I also wanted to to talk to you um because I'm I'm not sure how much you heard, but our sisterhood has recently learned that a lot of things about our religion that we've been taught are not true. And uh, I was hoping, because I know uh, me and certainly at least one other of my sisters are now starting to doubt everything, having a bit of a crisis of faith, if you like. Um, and I wanted to speak to someone kind of from the other side and um i can definitely try and help you reach them if you're looking for someone specific well i i'm not i'm not sure someone specific but clover kind of does, she I think she um, she knows that she wants something, but she can't quite put it into words. So, um, uh, you know what? Um, just just give me a moment to to sort my thoughts out. Um, of course, there's no rush. I would not recommend blindly calling out in here. Anything can hear you. So take your moment. And there are places for you to sit or throughout the room. Like there are um, cushions and such. She'll gesture to one of those for you if you want to sit and just take a moment with your thoughts. Yeah, I will do that. I'll go and curl up on one of the cushions. Like in loaf pose. Yeah. She's, she's, you get the vibe when you're in here is that it's, she's very, it's very much a standoff unless you are invited to uh, sit with someone or ask questions or, you know what I mean? So she'll, she will wait for you to prompt her for any help. Um, it's more of a, a solo journey here unless you are trying to contact people from beyond the veil. Um. Anemone, what are you, what are you doing? Anemone is sitting cross-legged in front of the shield. She pays her respects to the Blackthorn um, in person in silence. And then afterwards, she steps back, stretches, sees where Clover is, looks around, sees her sisters who are probably standing around everywhere. If she goes, um, I'm just going to sit over there in that corner. And she points to like um kind of like where there's a cushion if there's any and like something with something for her back like something mm -hmm. that she can lean against um i'm gonna quickly meditate in the corner here don't worry about me don't mind what i'm about to do okay okay you, you you've just gotten her attention <clears throat> and she's like oh of course but now she's not looking away <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh yeah sure go ahead now she's interested. Um, so what Anemone is going to do, and we might have to talk about this later if you'd like, um, okay. she's going to start speaking in Primordial. Okay. And she's going to start praying to four entities. But specifically, she's not really praying in the sense of like calling out for these entities' names. It's almost like when you're starting a, um, when, when you go to a mass, like a regular Catholic church, and you start with like the creed of faith. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then she goes into calling a specific name, and that is towards an entity known as 
the Night Sentinel. Okay. Um, I think that's from my background that I sent you a while ago. Okay. Uh, do you want to... I yeah. don't have it open, so... I me... will. I can message yeah. it to you. Yes. So I yes. can see what you're... The Night okay. Sentinel sounds badass. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And then she's going to kind of call out to that entity. And in a way, she's just asking how's, how's her aunt. <laughs> she's just she's just asking for like a follow-up, a little bit of an update. See if her path will eventually go towards her aunt again. And to see if Sin's thing or situation is going towards that aunt. She's looking for kind of a direction after whatever is happening here. Um, in Tenebrosa, she's kind of looking for, okay, so after we deal with this situation, is there something coming up that I need to be prepared for <laughs> towards that entity specifically? And towards she, your aunt? Yeah, towards her, my okay, aunt, okay, okay. who is alive. <laughs> like, as far as I know, she's still alive. But if she isn't, she doesn't know. Okay. I am opening your backstory real quickly. I just want to make sure I... <clears throat> know who you're i think i'm talking we're talking about the same person um da, 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 which here we go okay um your aunt i thought he was uh, your your no no your teacher. um not not that one um her aunt is calypso oh okay yeah um yeah are you looking for for Zorin as well. I, she doesn't really think about him. <laughs> like she's trying to avoid that thinking about him because she doesn't want to be too much. But like she's just thinking about basically she wants an update at home. That's all. Okay. Um, You're talking to the Night Sentinel who is God of the Underworld. Yes. Yep. Good Lord. I'm rolling something. Give me a second. Okay. <laughs> Did you think that actions have consequences? Um, I have like, yeah. image, like visions of Hades right now. I know it's not Hades, but like that's how I'm envisioning it. And that is pretty good. Like she, she's cool and everything, you know? you know? Your vision goes gold. Great. Ooh. Um, The peripherals are tinged with black. Uh, this is something that probably hasn't happened to you before, but you feel a very powerful presence washing over you as you uh, summon um, the Night Sentinel. As you summon, uh, was it Nergalanu? Nergalanu? Spell. Yeah. Say the say the name. Nergalanu. Okay, we're we're giving. The dyslexic person, all of the hard things. Um, Nerg, no, Nerg, Nerga, we'll call we'll call them Nerg, 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 uh, yeah. So you, yeah, you feel a presence, a very strong, very. I mean, you feel necrotic energy being just pushed over you. Um, you're asking for information about your family. You don't get any information about your family that's alive. But you do get the sense that your family that has passed on is fine. They are where they should be and at peace. Um, they miss you. But you won't be seeing them again. Ever. Um, that feeling of not seeing them again ever pauses, um, pauses Annie because automatically she's asking why. Is it because of all these gods? <laughs> she's thinking about all the lady gods that she's All of she's the gods that you pray to and all of that. And, um, nope. Oh, oh, yes. You know what? Yes, it is. It is because of a god. You don't belong there. You don't belong in his realm. Uh, 
Again, she's questioning why. The feeling, you know what? You'll actually hear this voice in your head. <sighs> okay. And it says, that's something for you to find out on your own. We all have our journeys. And that's it. And that feeling is gone. And uh, your, uh, your vision clears and Morgana's there looking like that was the most interesting thing that she has ever seen happen. Uh, and you get the you get the impression that she just witnessed that with you. Huh. You, you saw that. I heard it and I felt it. Huh. Yeah. Uh, feeling a little bit better, but a little bit um, confused. <laughs> she doesn't say anything further other than yeah, and she stretches and she looks around. Clover, you good? Everybody else? Is everybody else good? Um, Clover has been uh, sitting there in a loaf on the pillow. Um, you've noticed that Clover all day has been quiet, like a lot quiet, more quiet than usual, just kind of a little bit withdrawn. Her head is a mess right now with all of this God versus God stuff you know, with, with our religion. Um, so I think Clover has taken a moment to sort her thoughts out and wants to reach out to three, three gods slash people, that kind of thing. Um, mm -hmm. The first thing she's going to do is because she is a cleric and the cleric is dedicated to Luna, uh, that's who she's going to reach out to first. She did not do her morning spell preparation stuff is her usual no normal morning routine if she does that when she first wakes. She didn't do it this morning because she was just not in the right headspace. So I think she's going to take a moment to kind of do that now. But to reach out to Luna, her heart's not really in it, honestly. She she, she kind of tries to do the usual connection to Luna. Um, One but second. Sure. Okay. Continue, continue what you're saying. Go ahead. Um. Yeah, she she does try to connect to Luna, um, she, but her heart's not in it. Um, but she is reaching out. Okay. Uh, you half-heartedly just reach out, not very interested in having that conversation or not really a conversation, but where you pour your heart out to Luna. She doesn't often answer you. Um, and you see an Emony stretch and kind of, yeah, uh, you know, thanks, you know, and, and move around, kind of get up to walk away. And an Emony seems to be slowing down. Uh, you look around and, uh, Delphra standing in the corner, kind of just minding her own business. Uh, she's going to like move some hair out of her face and, her hands just stop in midair. Um, Morgana, who's like, that's so interesting, cut off in mid speech as time stops around you. And out of the dancing shadows on the walls steps a very beautiful elven woman tall lean this alabaster skin that seems to uh, kind of have this like chrome uh, opalescent sheen to it long wavy white hair and silver eyes Not interested in speaking to me anymore, are we? Luna. Having a crisis of faith, as it were? 
Um, uh, f forgive me, I, um, we've learnt a lot of information in the last few days and it's kind of been a lot. Um, One of my most faithful breaks away over rumors. Help me understand. What? My lying sister. Her blasphemous priestess. Did you send the plague to Amethel? What Amithel? plague? Plague, the one that was transmitted by by eye gaze. The... She, you see her just brush some of her hair over her shoulder, walk towards you. What a ridiculous thing. A plague magically what? Spread by eye contact. Please. Can I inside check this bitch? Yes, mm -hmm. you can. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know if you can inside check a god. But... You can definitely inside right. check the god. Are, can we all do that if we're aware we of what's going on? You are all, you are, no, this is only happening. You're all, it's, you. time has stopped for everyone but uh, Clover. Oh. Oh, baby. Oh, that's God. very average. Uh, a 12 on the die for an 18 total. Oh for an 18? Gosh. Yeah. I mean, when have you ever heard of anything like that, Clover? That is... That is not something that is you have ever heard of in any of the histories. It's not something. She doesn't seem to be lying to you. That seems ridiculous to her. Where did the moonstone come from? A smile of just like... You're so innocent. The moon. Like, it was that's the funniest thing she's ever heard. Ew. I really don't like her. I hate her so much. I like How did we go better. from loving her. her to hating her? Because we hadn't interacted with her until right she now. She does not come down often. Yeah, mm. we, we've had the, like, idealized version. You know, like, Christianity, like, we always, like, a lot of us had as kids. Like, it was this sweet, cute <laughs> thing. Yeah, as you get older, the, the super high horse, she needs to take a step down. She kneels down beside you, Clover. It just sits, um, sits back. I am the moon. My sister is the moon. We are both <laughs> the moon. Anything that comes from the moon is from all of us, from both of us. Who was it given to? And given to anyone. It was broken off when we were struck by something. Broken off from the moon and landed? Where, where did it land? It was inconsequential at the time. Many things hit us. Many pieces fly off. About where moonstones come from. Do that is where I... these moonstones come from. Did we have I literally been ex like thinking about it as a moonstone? And it was literally like a fucking asteroid. It is a piece of the moon. You have a piece of the moon. <sighs> Had. Had. But that sounds like there's more than one. <laughs> Quite possibly. Mm. I mean, sorry, it's something that you can in insight again if you want. Yeah, we're not in this conversation. Sorry. <laughs> I I don't know that this point that at this point she would be thinking to insight that. Um, 
I think Clover kind of says, I realize that being a god, perhaps where the landing of such a, a stone would be inconsequential to you, but to your followers, to the people of this world, that stone, from what I understand, can make or break an entire society. The agriculture, the food supplies, everything, the, the vitality of the land. So while I don't understand how a god could call the fate of their followers inconsequential, Not inconsequential. I misspoke. You come and you go. You are always with me. Fucking noise from Daniel. <laughs> what? Here's a random noise from Daniel. He said uh, you. <laughs> Daniel! <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> um not inconsequential inconsequential to me yes gods often she pauses you come and you go so quickly we don't always see Unless we are paying attention. So, of all of the time that I have worshipped you, if, if I am just one of the people that comes and goes and lives and dies and over the course of eternity... Why are you paying attention to me now? Because now something is coming. I feel you, yes. When you pray, I answer many all the time. Not always in ways that you see or understand. I have answered you in the past. But now, Nixaria is causing problems. She's, well, look at your sisters. Crisis of faith, one split down the middle. We war over a soul that should be going to our afterlife and yet is tainted Nixaria somehow put something into Sin's soul that is not pure one of your sisters <laughs> believes in nothing yet pretends to be a part of our order What is happening now should not be happening. You will help them find their way. Bring them home. I... I will do my best to bring them home, but I don't know that you would like where home is. Home is with me. Why Why is our home only within Luna doctrine? Why is Nixarian doctrine impure? Why, why was it abolished? <clears throat> do you want to follow someone that hurts you? I already do. How 
How have I hurt you? I feel that my... the very small inconsequential worldly things that I care about are probably not on a scale that perhaps you would understand why they hurt. You have my ear. If you do not wish to speak about it, I can leave. Will you waste this moment that you have? Or explain to me why you follow someone who hurts you so? I'm starting to wonder, honestly. not force you to follow me but I cannot understand if you will not speak truth the same goes both ways I don't understand why you're here talking to me now why why the, the group of why are the six of us so important that you are paying attention two three four five six seven the seven of us um why? I don't count. I don't oh, count. Yeah, six. Okay. <laughs> I was just looking at my screen going, wait a minute, I got the count wrong. <laughs> um, uh, why? Why? Why now? I know I, you, you seem to have an intimate understanding of where all of my sisters are individually. Why are we important to you of all of the civilizations that have come and gone out of all this time? I know you said Nixaria is causing problems right now, but why us? She shrugs. Nixaria has taken an interest. I need to know why. So you are only interested in us because Nixaria is interested in us. You will hear what you want to hear. I have told you you will come to me. I will take care of your souls afterwards. But I have answered you before. Tell me why I would do so if I did not care. Do you care about me or do you care about the number of followers you have? Things can be two things. <laughs> things can be true at once. Things can, two things can be true at once. I... You have given me much to think about. Thank you for speaking to me. And she reaches forward and just very, very gently scratches one of your ears. Mm -hmm. And you get this feeling of just peace that washes over you. Just for a moment while she's touching you. Clover that... tries really hard not to flinch away. I don't know if she succeeds, but she tries really hard not to flinch. Uh, you can Why roll for that it... if you want to see. Why I'm isn't sure. it at this well... point? That Nixaria seems more comforting yeah. than Luna. Right? 100%. You can say. Um, you I can say. Don't would you like, like me either. Roll like them. a deception or a. <laughs> roll of performance. Performance. I like okay. Nix a lot better. I don't. I think that Sin's experiences. <gasps> oh, she no. doesn't like Nix at all. That's fair. A nat one? Mm. Okay. Yeah, that's a nat so, one. No. Oh, the flinching. So she goes to give you a little, like, scritch behind the ear and you flinch and she just puts her hand away and um nods all right and is gone 
your sisters are moving, walking around. You are... It's normal. It's back to the way it was. Maybe it didn't even happen. You're not sure. Um. Um. Ah, uh, that was great. Ah, uh, felt like a good. Scene. I think. Mm. <laughs> Go ahead. I think Clover. I think she just starts. I know she's a cat, but I think she just starts like tears pouring out of her eyes and I think she just sits completely still staring at the ground like just crying silently um for a long time unless anybody comes to talk to her anemone finishes oh, yeah. stretching and then automatically sees a crying clover what happened do I have to kill yeah pretty much ready just at the ready yeah. <clears throat> what happened I think that was Luna. I think I just spoke to Luna. Here. What did she so, say? Yeah. <clears throat> uh, <sighs> Maybe this isn't the right place to, to talk about this. Oh, I think it is the right place, honestly. Um, she already knows. She knows. Oh, so what does she know? She knows how each and every one of us feel. Since she knows about you and she said that Nixaria had put something impure in your soul, she knows that one of us does not believe in any God at all and yet is here, I guess, pretending. She knows about our crisis of faith. She's taken an interest in us because Nixaria has taken an interest in us. I asked her about the moonstone, where it came from, and she said, yes, it was It was struck off the moon. It's, it, is a, it is a chunk of moon, but she said it was inconsequential to them where it landed as far as Salandria and Umberfell and, and 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 it's so inconsequential. Why have they been sending us on this goose chase for weeks? I don't know. I tried to ask her about why Nixarian doctrine was struck off, but I I genuinely can't remember if she answered that question. Do you I, want to roll history? Or is that just yeah, sure. you? Could, yeah? could we could we all roll history oh. if, if we wanted to? Or um, yeah, I think, I think. Nope. Yeah. Um. I mean, yes, me as a player, I don't absorb stuff very well, but I think. Okay, Clover so for is also you as you right as a player, um, you as a player, you asked that question, and she yeah. asked, and she responded, um, "Would would you want like about um following her, uh, following Nixaria was um she hurt her followers." And then you said oh, right, you've okay. countered back with, well, you hurt us too. And that's, she didn't mm. continue after that. She was more interested right. in what she had done. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. She never elaborated on what she means though. Like how does Nixaria hurt her followers? No, uh, you guys no, got off trap mm. off topic with, yeah. well, you hurt us. Well, what do you mean yeah. I hurt you? Mm. She didn't know, like, as far as Clover mm. is aware with what you've rolled for insight and all of that, she didn't understand. She's a mm. flippant god. Uh, um, so, did uh, uh, I should we should probably talk, guys? Um, Maybe not right here, though. I think this conversation might not be a here thing. Delphish just uh, like M Morgana is just like. The tea is hot. Um, <laughs> that is the, like she's trying to read her book, but not like mm -hmm. you know what I mean. I mean um, and Emily's going to casually lean against her shoulder and she's like, "Good book." Oh, Such a good book. Absolutely, I'm um, very great book, right? 
yeah, uh, Book of the Dead. Mm -hmm. Book of the Dead. A Book of the Dead. Book of the Dead. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. Uh -huh. Um, here, here's 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 the deal. So here's many the questions. Deal. Here, here's the deal. We'll answer one or two questions of yours if you never mention this. Or 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 here's the thing. Here's the thing. I see that you have a really cool fancy ring. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Looks like 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 two hands together. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. I do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know how I'm going to spin this, but essentially, let's do an exchange, right? Let's do an exchange. You can ask two questions, and we'll take the ring and we'll leave you be, so that you can percolate a little bit more on the questions before we have to do our thing. Pencil, you're on, and she picks up her skirts and is just like. <laughs> <laughs> the gossip that is about to be spread. Um, Clifford we'll didn't it... really care. <laughs> no, no, you did not. Mm -hmm. um, we, we're going to call the session here. We'll pick oh, up no. from here next session. Um, <laughs> GG, guys. Uh, interesting. Um, uh, very quickly, we're going to talk about our, our charity one more time, which is... Um, Doctors, we're, we're raising money for Doctors Without Borders. A bunch of, or I think it's like, what, 100 TTRPG creators have come together to um, to raise money for uh, Gaza. And we are we are at, what, 19 I'll now? I'll check. I think something like that. Over we're like 18, 19. 000. We're trying to get to 25 before the end of <clears throat> January. If you can donate, please do so, because it is for a an amazing cause. Um and yeah i'll post the link in the chat now and um we will all do our sign off uh i'm i sneeze stars i'm your shenanigan sovereign um cappy if you want to take it i will get that link hi i have been cappy my name is star you can find me at star mama c on tiktok everywhere else as characters without stories because that is the name of my podcast where i interview people about characters they haven't had a chance to play yet i have a new episode that just dropped today so please check it out it's about a character from the game quest i um i'm streaming here and that's that's about it um and i will pass it to juniper uh me i I'm still kind of, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing after that conversation with the God. Um, I'm Juniper. I'm Linen and Spice um, places like TikTok and Blue Sky. Um, you can also catch me as well as the Moonstone Matriarchy. You can catch me on Shattered Tabletop Games uh, the first and third Sunday of the month playing either Alien or, Nat or Naturally Shattered. Uh, take it away, Delphra, Mommy Kelly. Hi, I'm Mommy Kelly. Uh, I played Delphra. Um other than that, I'm still getting used to not saying I live under a rock. And uh, mm -hmm. you can check me out at Goddess Teacup, and I'll post a link to my link tree in the chat. Uh, Scarlet. Hi, I'm Scarlet. I play D and D on Twitch and make TikToks about D and D and Pathfinder and stuff. And I uh, have dessert dragon adoptions that you can find on my Etsy and my website. Uh, Revan. Hey there, I'm GM of Revan. You can call me in. I played Anemone in this session. I'm with these hot, freaking amazing, beautiful, gorgeous women who are doing an amazing thing on Tiltify, so you should go check that out. Um, I play games on my channel and anywhere on the internet as GM of Revan. Um, Tuesdays, Fridays, and I'm here Saturdays with these lovely people. I am going to give it to Katie. Hi, I'm Katie. I'm Dungeon Mistress Katie and all the things. Um, I play here. I play on Shadows of Nox, um, all the places, I guess. And occasionally on, you know, Rebel Turnus. Depends on the week or the month of the year. Um, and uh, yeah, I've been uh, Rosalind Alara and things are getting interesting for sure. I think that's it. Mm, Scarlet. Oh, I'm sorry. I already no, went. I already went. Oh, sure oh fr okay. Yeah. I'm out of here, okay? I know. That's it. Bye, guys. I've checked Bye. out already. Bye. Bye. See you later. Ha ha ha. Foolish and lost.